morning. My name is Aaron Jenkins. I'm a sergeant in the Fire Prevention Division of the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service. I'm here today to talk about some of the tactics in the area. My goal today is to persuade my classmates to buy and install smoke, smoke detectors in their personal homes. According to the Fire Marshal's Public Fire Safety Council in Ontario, Canada, few people die in home fires and smoke alarms or smoke detectors are present and activated. Smoke alarms are early warning devices that send smoke. Most people do not know or understand enough about these simple, inexpensive devices and how they can save thousands of dollars in damage and potentially save a priceless life. A smoke alarm sends the smoke at the early stages of a fire. At this stage, it's still safe for a family to access. The early stages of a fire produce very little smoke, and these devices are designed to detect this little bits of smoke. Statistics show that more deaths have occurred in homes without smoke alarms. According to the National Fire Protection Association, the death rate per 100 reported fires was twice as high in homes without a working smoke alarm as it was in home fires with this protection. If all homes had working smoke alarms, an estimated 890 lives could have been saved annually, or just under one third the annual fire death total in the United States. Fatalities resulting from home fires with working smoke alarms were more likely to have been caused by an occupant trying to fight the fire themselves, an occupant close or in the area of origin, or the occupant having to be at least 65 years of age. This is just basically saying that smoke alarms save lives. Straight up, it, it, there's no other way to say it. There's people who the statistics are talking about who died in home with smoke alarms, foolishly tried to extinguish the fire themselves and put themselves at risk, were either close or near where the fire started, or it was an old person who probably couldn't move or save themselves. What type of smoke alarms do you need? There are a couple of types of smoke alarms. There are photo, ion, and combination types. Photo are one of the cheapest, but according to the UK fire service, ionization are the cheapest and cost very little to purchase. They are very sensitive to small particles of smoke produced by flame and fires. The combination ones basically will have either a combination of photo and ion, there'll be a combination of photo ion and carbon monoxide. Some detectors actually come with emergency lights actually built in also. And the, the price ranges are from low to high. It just depends on what features or what type of combination detector you choose to buy. The installation of smoke alarms are pretty basic. You have two different types of smoke alarms. You have hardwired smoke alarms and you have just normal battery stick them up on your ceiling smoke alarms. Um, this is a hardwired smoke alarm for battery backup. Now, this device, according to most modern building codes, will be required to be installed in most dwelling houses. Now, this device connects up to the household 110 electrical current, which means when your normal electricity is on, this device is powered. And when the electricity fails for some reason, the battery backs up the device and it will work in the absence of electricity until electricity is turned on. Now, the installation of these devices are is, is very simple. Basically, they recommend that you have minimal dwelling spaces or, or living spaces, which is living rooms, bedrooms, and your hallways. 
They're not recommended for kitchens for bigger cookers, and they're not recommended for bathrooms or very wet locations. Um, the basic running of these devices, or how they, how they work, um, or how they're easily maintained, is every month, just a button, and that lets you know that they're working. And if they're not working, if you forget to test them, it'll give a slight little check, a little beep, and that lets you know that the brand needs to be changed. And it's recommended to change the batteries twice a year. That's in the fall when you set the clocks back, and in the spring when you set your clocks forward. It's, it's pretty easy to remember. Um, if you want to take a look at the device, you can. It's recommended that every five to six years you evaluate or, or check to see if you need to replace your instrument detector. And um, just taking a look at Home Depot's website, I got some basic prices and the, the basic ion smoke detector will run you as low as $4, $4.99. Just to give you a little story on how important these smoke detectors are, is as a fire investigator, I was investigating a, a residential household fire where the house was totally lost. The occupants survived because a uh, passing by neighbor noticed the fire and banged on the doors and the windows and alerted the occupants of the house. You know, what was interesting as the, the fire investigator was as soon as you entered into the house, looked on the ceiling, you saw a smoke detector. So there was a smoke detector in the living room, there was a smoke detector in the hallway, there was a smoke detector in, in every bedroom, as the code stated. But every one of those detectors had the battery removed. Now, I don't know if it was due to nuisance alarms or the res is not understanding that checking means change the batteries, but there were no working batteries in the alarms. And by them not buying a $2 battery, it caused $200,000 worth of damage to the house, um, which just, just doesn't add up. So in conclusion, I hope the class understands what actual smoke alarms do, how they save lives, how they save property, and I hope that I persuaded you to buy and purchase and install one in your own home. Thank you very much. We're still alive. We're still alive.